My name is Julius Mbura and I'm a VIP, visually impaired person. If you thought I can see you, eh eh, eh ain't gonna happen. So that will not limit me from reviewing this beautiful car behind me. Nowadays I, made, I make blind jokes <laughs> with my friends. <laughs> yeah, so... That's uh, how chilled you are. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm the coolest blind person you'll okay. ever meet. Okay, <laughs> a joke? Uh, a joke. Uh -huh. Like, um, so if we met, uh. like today, and we go on a date, that's literally a blind date. You get? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's a <laughs> <laughs> and if I if I write, uh, I write you a, a love poem because I'm a spoken word artist, yes. then I'll be because love is blind, yeah. Damn. <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My name is Julius Mbura. I'm a lawyer by profession, which has uh, put me on a path for advocating for disability rights. I'm also a motivational speaker and a mentor, especially for young people who've lost their sight in their adulthood or, or people who don't know what to go about uh, disability. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm also a motivator. Uh, on top of being a motivational speaker, I'm a spoken word artist. The, that's my like creative bone. Right. I am also a model. Uh, I am also uh, the programs manager for New Age for the Visually Impaired, mm -hmm. which is a, a CBO, and uh, we, we work with so many uh, NGOs like Kenya Society for the Blind to like advocate for disability rights and all that. Mm -hmm. I'm also a dancer by passion. You <laughs> are love, an entire package. <laughs> I yeah. love music. Okay. I love music. Yeah. And uh, I'm a car enthusiast. I have been for the longest time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm also a lover of life, you know. And I, I strive to live a heart centered life. Yeah, mm -hmm. th that, that, that runs into everything that I put my mind and hands on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, right now, you, you'd think that um, I'm seeing you because uh, from the optics, uh, it looks like my eyesight is there because my, my lenses and if you look at my eye, my iris and everything is okay, but beyond that, I can only perceive light. Mm. Uh, I can only tell, like, this room is lit, you know. Yeah. Uh, I have lost my sight twice in my life. Uh, first time was when I was 10. Then the second wave came in last year, October. When, when I lost sight that first time, uh, we, 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 so this one time uh, I'm waking up and I'm in darkness. So I start scrambling to uh, look for um, something to wash my eyes. Like complete darkness? Y yeah, yeah, it was complete darkness. Yeah. I actually didn't realize that I was in darkness till at around 11, 12, mm. there's that warmth that comes mm. with the Mabati when Mabati starts heating up. So, and then I had children playing outside. At that time, my mom used to go, she, she was a business lady. Mm. She used to uh, take produce from the Shambas and bring them to Marikiti for the, for the uh, retailers. Mm. So she was uh, on a, a trip to, I think, Kinango or something. Then that, that morning she came in and she found me like looking for, like, like I was just waking up, you know. I'm still in that shock of wow, what's going on, I you know. Can't see. Yeah, so because I thought it's actually at around four or five, then it hit me that ah, children are playing outside, so it must, it must this be. This is around, daytime. This is daytime. So she came in <laughs> trying to hit me, you know, mothers and dedication. <laughs> so she came in trying to hit me. So as I, as I was running away from her, I hit the wall, like really bad, like bah. Then she actually dropped from 100 to zero, like real quick. <laughs> and it hit her. Yeah, now she became, I, I've never, like I've never heard my mom cry like that. From nowhere, she was like, this is in, the inevitable that I've been denying all along. And I've been told that, because one of my aunts, 
I realized the way I was looking at people, my my eyeballs were, were, were becoming squinty. Mm. Like I could like look at you, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking somewhere else, but I'm, I'm focusing on you. So they were telling mom, mom was like, ah, she wasn't having it. Mm. So um, now the problem was known. <laughs> then uh, there are some doctors who had come from the US. Mm. Uh, so they now uh, discovered the problem. It was at the back of the eye, mm -hmm. something to do with uh, the retina and everything. I don't want to get into the <laughs> complex of it. It will briefly tell us, like um. Okay, mm -hmm. the condition is called maculopathy. Mm. The the parent of the of my problem, mm. so it affects part of the eye called macula. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's um, it's on the on the retina. So I was taken to Thika Primary for the Blind, where I was taught mobility and mm. braille, mm. and. Uh, I was taking classes behind because mm -hmm. you have to be, it takes time to learn Braille mm -hmm. and mobility because you're being brought in into a, a, a world, world yeah, that mm -hmm. you are not accustomed to. Our aliens will, uh, will join them and uh, unite with the, uh, with the house of Jacob. How, how was it like for you? Uh, today you can see, mm -hmm. or this year you can see, mm -hmm. and then next year mm -hmm. you can't see anything. Uh, that took me on a roller coaster of emotions yes. at that tender age because now I was, you know, like putting my hopes up. You know, like I would, my prayer was every each night I, as I went to bed, my prayer was, I want to wake up tomorrow seeing. Uh -huh. I would envision myself seeing. Then I wake up. I would live a day at a time, literally. Like today, I see something that I, I could not see yesterday, like the grass. I see a hint of green. I'm like, wow, wow. So I live for the next, you know, clear off. <laughs> used to call, like, it's like clear off, yeah? You, you, you see something, then you start seeing silhouettes of buildings, mm. and then you start seeing, is that brown? Mm. Is that is, is is that someone passing? Mm -hmm. So it became to a point. Now I started now discerning colors, mm -hmm. orange, yellow. Now I became attracted to bright colors because mm -hmm. I could identify bright colors easily. Yeah. Actually, my my favorite color is orange. Oh, because it's too bright, you know? <laughs> so Not bright. yellow. <laughs> I actually like yellow and on particular things okay. like a Lamborghini in Aish. yellow. Okay. And how was it like for mom? Mom. So mom was in that, you, you know, mothers, you know, there's they that, they that motherly instinct that kicked in. She became caring to a point where she actually quit her job to take me around to different pastors, different doctors, anything. A friend tells her today, oh, there's this uh, pastor who's coming to, we even went to Kibera, we went to so many places, Nyahuru, where, where. So her main, uh, like, her main goal was to, like, do something that would make a difference, you know, mm -hmm. and, like, to, re like, retain my sight, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because she was blaming herself. Mm -hmm. That time she was being told, oh, kuna venye Julia sanaangalia. There's a way he looks at people, like he's quinting. She thinks it's like she did not take it seriously. She, yeah, she didn't take it seriously, mm. and now she was beating herself up. Okay. You know, like if I did this at mm. this particular time, maybe things would have been different. Mm -hmm. So my mom, we 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 got to a point where I made her comfortable. That, yeah, mom, I'm like this, but hey, can you just teach me how to be independent? You know, how how do I uh, prepare myself? Mm. To, to not depend on people. So she taught me how to cook, how to do things. And we would go to town and uh, she would test me, uh, can you see that far? I'm like, no. Can you see that car? I'm oh. like, yeah, yeah, I can. So we get excited over small things, yeah. you know, like, um, and then she's like, what color is that? I'm like, that's blue. And then she's like, oh, yeah, it's getting better. So we would, um, Dray, uh, like uh, draw joy and happiness into In the small, small things, things. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. But um, it's been great. Like I didn't feel like I, I, mm. I, 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 I lacked anything mm. because 
she gave me the whole forecast. The whole forecast. Yeah. And now with you just seen a little, mm -hmm. you are able to go through high school and yeah. university? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I did KCPE and I passed and we were looking for these national schools. Mm -hmm. uh, I did the normal nini, uh, the normal exam. Mm -hmm. It's only that I did in large print. Uh, and I was using glasses, so you, you, can, you can tell it was really bad mm -hmm. because it's large print, like font 17, 18, and I'm still using glasses. So I, I made a decision of doing pure braille in, in high school. Mm -hmm. So uh, this all, all these national schools, they, they didn't have a really inclusive program for Officially disability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I just told mom, watch out to the high school for the blind. Mm. So I went through the high school for the blind, did my KCSC, I passed, uh, I went to campus. I, I had been given education, but now my passion was to do law. But before that, I wanted to do something with diplomacy. <laughs> I, had, uh, I had a dream of being an ambassador. <laughs> uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so when you say education, yeah. like they wanted you to specialize in the education course, why? Yes, uh, so the presumption is blind people and visually impaired people normally do education, special education, and they normally do it in KU. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go, go against that. So I, I looked at all the choices that I had and I decided to go with law because that would put me on a path to do advoca advocacy for disability rights, which is my passion. And uh, because I, I want to make a contribution into the community. Wow. Hashman said, uh, you, you should be ashamed of yourself if you mm. go through life without making an impact on someone else's life. Mm. So th that, that drives me. Uh, knowing that um, I can be in a position to help people not go through the hassles that I went through from from uh, high school to campus mm. and uh, to just be better people in life you know mm -hmm. if my experience and my um, motivation can impact someone's life mm -hmm. uh, that's my joy that's your joy yeah how was life in campus too for <laughs> a young, you know just a young boy yeah. You know, yeah how was it like so in campus uh, you see high school i did braille yeah? yes so campus i had to transition into soft copy so i had to do I had to buy a computer and put a software, uh, a software called Joe's. But before that, I, I, had, I had gone to Kenya Site for the Blind and do a course in computer adaptive technology mm -hmm. where they teach you how to navigate through the computer using the soft software wow. for navigation. Mm -hmm. It's called Joe's, but we have different versions. We have NVDA, we have Thunder, mm -hmm. we have so many. Uh, it's the same technologies that, uh, that I use mm -hmm. on my phone. Uh, voiceover, mm. but now for iPhone, the interface is way, way up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so I, th this, this is now getting into campus, and this I'm going through now a different setup because for high school and primary, mm. I was in a special as called yes. special school, yeah. but now I'm thrown into the deep end. <laughs> I'm with different people from different backgrounds, different diversities, you know. So it was a really um, a, a point in life where I really now worked on my self-esteem to the fullest and my sense of belief to a point where nowadays I made I make blind jokes <laughs> with my friends. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, how chilled you are. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm the coolest blind person in the world. Okay, is it for a joke? <laughs> like, um, so if we met <laughs> like today and we go on a date, that's literally a blind date. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's up. laughs> and if I if I write, uh, I write you a, a love poem because I'm a spoken word artist. Yes. Then I'll be because love is blind, yeah. Damn. <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. My poems have been in braille. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah you're man. <laughs> so I come like this. Yeah. And then when I reach here, so it's a bit rocky. Yeah. So I know I've already finished this wow. this lane. Yeah. Yes. So from here I listen first. You see, you, there's a Zanduthi. There's, there's another one here. Yeah. So I listen. When it's clear, then I I cross. Now you cross. Yes. Yeah. And then from here mm -hmm. I go diagonal like this. Oh. So I'll, I'll go with this yeah. up to the shop. Okay. Yeah. Instead of taking okay. so many corners. I took a couple of months, yeah. 
because I was intentionally uh, like wanting to know how yeah. to navigate through. So you joined KSL, of course you studied law, and yeah. now you work at a law firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I work at uh, Letangulian Company Advocates. Mm -hmm. Super, super cool people. Why? <laughs> yeah, so um, my boss, uh, Letangule, uh, Mr. Letangule, is um, one of the people I say I meet for the first time, and they are, they are really, they, they, are, they, are, they are motivated or they are, they are inspired by my story and they want to like give mm. an opportunity mm -hmm. because what I strive for is opportunity over sympathy. <laughs> mm. I hate sympathy. Say that again? Opportunity of us, oh, as of opposed to sympathy. yeah, as mm. opposed to sympathy. Mm. So because you can't be emotional mm. and still make progress. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. I heard someone say you can't have both. You can't it's have either both. you make in progress yeah. or you being emotional. Yeah. What What are these uh, special structures they've put at your law firm yeah. that makes your work easier? Okay, so uh, boss uh, introduced me to everyone, mm. and then they were, he, he was like, uh, just make his environment conducive for working mm. so uh, i told them i need to bring a software that i'll put on a, i was shown my workstation mm. so i was like i need to bring a software that i'll put on this mm. particular machine mm -hmm. and then i'll be having a pair of earphones at all times because i i now listen i, I don't make noise for everyone mm. and then uh, um so we we have a small kitchen mm. So I was shown the kitchen mm. and then I was like, you know, guys, I cook for myself because at first everyone was like, let me make tea for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me put the let, sugar for you. Yeah. But I was like, you know, I do these things. Yeah. So you just show me where the kitchen is. Yeah. And <laughs> what is and what. The items. Yeah. Mm. And where I need to be taking the cup from. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So we we have even this uh, cappuccino machine mm. <laughs> and there's this associate who came and she was like, so how do you know what option you're getting? Hey. And then I was like, you know, there are different options. So I was shown how to navigate with my finger mm. and choose yeah. if I want cardamom tea, if I want mochaccino, if yes. I want cappuccino. Or latte. Yeah, mm. uh, yeah. But sometimes I decide to surprise my stomach. So I just press <laughs> <laughs> anything that comes out. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. and I also know the question most of the people will ask mm -hmm. because I've been texting with mm -hmm. you. We've even been talking on the on phone, phone yeah. and I'll admit it. Yeah. I was also like, how is he able to drop me a text yeah. on WhatsApp? On WhatsApp, yeah. yeah. I use a phone uh -huh. that has um, an interface yeah. uh, that now talks mm -hmm. back to me. Like this is your phone, this right? This is my phone. So yeah. how, how, how does it do? So... Mm. When, when, when it's on, yeah. when you press any button, uh -huh. it will first tell you the clock uh -huh. because I think when, this is an iPhone, yeah? Mm. So I think when, uh, let me remove the cover. Okay. So I think when, when the, the developers were, were working on it, yeah. they were like, the first thing you'd want to know is time, yeah? Yes, <laughs> yeah. So I, this works like my watch. I have my watch, uh -huh. but my watch is for cosmetic reasons. Like okay. my eyes. Uh, okay, <laughs> I have to feel good. <laughs> I have to look good. I have to look good, yeah. <laughs> like your eyes. Come on. <laughs> I see what you did. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. um, for my phone, uh -huh. it talks, but so pe people, like even in the office, they're yeah. like, is that even English? Because it talks so fast. Yes. But when you're starting, yeah. you'll start with low speeds. It's called voiceover. Okay. So it doesn't need internet. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, off net. Okay. Uh, the, the one people confuse with mm. is Siri. Mm. But Siri, you have to need, you need internet okay. for you to, to navigate mm -hmm. through with Siri. Mm -hmm. But this one is called voiceover. So it's under settings. Okay. So it's for mobility, uh, for navigation. Mm. So if I touch anywhere on mm. the screen, it will talk. Yeah. Oh. That's weather, notes, Reminders. I even I even scribble notes. Uh, that's clock. Calendar. What is it saying? Uh, uh, let me this this piece. Oh, yeah. That's forty percent. Okay. Yeah. But I, m for me, I use uh, ninety-five or one hundred percent. Oh, okay. This yeah. is for if starters. For this for like you. Okay. So let me for touch in. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me touch. Yeah. Twelve You've had mm -hmm. clock twelve twenty three. Double tap to open. Okay. So if you double tap, yeah. then it opens. Yeah. That particular uh -huh. app that yeah. you want to get into. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, can you text me? Let, let me text you. Okay. Yeah. But now I, I can't go with this speed, Mazi. Eh, oh, ni, yeah. yani bado ni kidogo? Yeah, okay, let's so go to 95. Okay. Okay. Speak for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, yeah. So am I. <laughs> so am I. Thank you. You, you even put emojis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you, uh, the emojis are real. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm actually even accurate <laughs> yes. on using emojis yeah. more than people who wow. can see because for me it describes the emoji. Uh, yeah, and it describes the emotions. You the feel emotions, you, yeah. You have the prayerful emoji yeah. and the joyful emoji. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. And funny, mm. this are uh, uh, the software you have on your your phone mm -hmm. also enables you to listen to content on YouTube. Yes, yes. Because yes. I, you are like I also have subscribed to Tuko too. Yes. That was uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I follow even Abel Mtua. Yes. The, 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 the stories of my life. I love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually follow so many Kenyan creators. Mm. Akina Jugush, mm. uh, Jesse Junction. Mm. Uh, I follow. I've been following Tuko yeah. for the longest time, mm. and also. So, so many creatives in mm. Kenya. So mm. I've been going, you know, like for me, I'll just put and listen because yeah. for like Tuko, Abil Mtua, those ones, they, they don't have the complicated, uh, they have visuals, mm. but they're not talking. Like for movies, I used to watch movies a lot. So nowadays that would be... Um, a bit tricky. Yes, but I'm planning mm. actually to bring an awareness on audio movies. There are audio movies mm. that you can watch without... Uh, because it describes, you see, like DJ Afro. Yeah. DJ Afro does a, a great <laughs> job. <laughs> so it's DJ yeah. Afro on another level because uh -huh. now they, they do that mm. voiceover mm. in the studio. So you just go to your phone. So you I put a channel. So I go to my phone. Yeah. Uh, like so. Mm -hmm. Then I go. At YouTube is on on the fifth page. Okay. Yeah. So You've go, even mastered yeah. it. Okay. So if I want to search. Yeah. I go there, mm -hmm. I click that one, yeah. and then I search. So I can search like Tuko. Yeah. And because I, I've been searching Tuko for a long time, it's it like the uh, first on the one. Suggestion. Yes, yeah. it's on the suggestion. Yeah. So I go to Tuko. And then now I can look at their latest. Uh -huh. like, oh, you are latest. <laughs> <laughs> their latest. Yeah. <laughs> So this is one hour ago, mm. so I can I can just press on that, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so it has a video. Yeah. So for me, mm. I don't need to, I just listen. You just listen. Yeah. So this is the story for uh, Nani. The title. So I used to hear voices calling me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so I navigate through everything. Mm. Actually. For people who've uh, subscribed for my channel, yeah. I'm the one who re replies to their comments. comments they talk about your YouTube. channel. <laughs> Tell people what the name of your channel is so they can check, uh, you know, your work. Yeah. So my channel is uh, yeah. Julio Supercharge. Yeah. J-U-L-I-O, mm -hmm. then space, then yeah. Supercharge. Yeah. People call it Julio Supercharge. Julio. <laughs> and that's where you do your car reviews. Yeah. This is the part I'm going to get into. Because I watched you do a car review yeah. and I was like, how? Yeah. So, like, for me, I, I told you how I now uh, decided to just focus on the smallest thing that mm. people mm. don't really take keen or even think about. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, how a car feels the material used in the inside and how it feels being because nowadays I'm um, I'm being driven I can't but I can't drive yeah. actually uh, so I started um, I, I, I saw an opportunity of showing people how to appreciate cars through touch and feel and opening them to another dimension my name is Julius Mbura and I'm a VIP visually impaired person if you thought I can see you eh 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 ain't gonna happen so that will not limit me from reviewing this beautiful car behind me. We are at Al Hussein. Yeah. 
and uh, these are, they, they've been gracious enough to give us this beautiful, beautiful machine of a supercar. This is the car, and um, I have to commend the designers with the design they brought with the wheel arch here. You can see it's bulging up, and uh, this is running on 18-inch wheel, and uh, it's low profile, guys. You can look, the rims are really nice. Look at the headlights. They are slick, they are, they, are, they, are, they are coming, curving like this, yeah? And then, this is where we have the badge of the Big Daddy Mazda. And then, this is where you place your number plates. So we don't have a big grill for this one. So you can see this is uh, supposed to be the intake for the engine. I'll, I'll tell you why we don't have such a big grill on such a supercar. There's a reason. And then, uh, you know guys, we have to go by feel. We have to feel everything, yeah? So this one, um, we don't have uh, uh, the, 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 the lights, uh, the spotlights. So we're in the interior and I want to take you through. There's a theme going on here, guys. If you look closely, we have circles going all around. I'll start with the steering wheel, which is of course a circle. And then we, in the middle, we have this circle. And then we have another small circle uh, that encases the the logo for Mazda, and then uh, guys, if you go here, the these ones for for the gauges, we have rounds. These are big round circle, another circle, and the engine is here. You can see the shape of this triangle that I was talking about. So if you open this lever, uh, you open this lid you can see what you're working with. So what, how it works, it has this, uh, in this shape of a triangle, it rotates. That's how it creates power and combustion because the three apex, I don't want to talk about the engine so much. There is so many YouTube uh, videos on engine, rotary engine and the Wanko engine, but we have drawbacks on the rotary engine and also we have advantages. So the drawback is that the engine will use a lot of oil. You feed oil directly directly into the engine. Let me ask you, mm -hmm. how do you know mm -hmm. how like uh, this car has these details mm -hmm. when you are reviewing mm -hmm. and uh, many people would ask like how do you even know the details? Mm -hmm. So um, most cars like supercars I have uh, like gone through the backstory uh, through the car, many car reviewers that I follow on YouTube, so many. <laughs> but uh, even in Kenya, I, I follow Akina Big Boy Trev, Akina Shift Gang. So I, I, I look at if they've reviewed that particular car. And then if they have not, I go look for articles on that particular car. I even go on websites for the particular cars. So I do my research. And um, most of these cars, I've seen them before, so I have mental visuals of how they look like, and that is a, an advantage to me. I'm privileged that I got to see so many cars. Um, so like the Lamborghinis, the Rolls Royces, uh, the, like, like even this particular one model, I've seen it with my eyes. So I know how it looks like. I have that visual, and then I look for design features that are really interesting. Mm. So I'll, I'll resonate with a car reviewer mm. that really don't get into the technicals as much, but really captures the element of the car and um, the, the presence okay. of, that, of that particular car. Okay. Yeah, wow. so I go YouTube, uh, uh, online, websites, website, articles. Yeah, articles, yeah. So the easiest thing that I did, which was also the hardest thing, was to accept myself and to believe in myself, to believe that I can do it and I can be great and uh, I can actually like follow my dreams and goals, envision them and go all out, find a way to win. I, I, I mean, what, what makes the difference between a failure and I, I take all challenges I, I don't I don't condone failure because failure is how you get to know what what to do and better what and what not to do. And I, I I tell people like 
so long as you have you have a drive you have a dream you go for it you know like you don't procrastinate anything that, that's the first and you start from a point of being positive you are parting shots <laughs> yeah Al Husnain. Al Husnain Motors. And, and I want to insist that because yeah. I'm not, they've not even paid me yeah. to. Um, <laughs> they've not paid me yeah. to speak good about them. Yeah, but yeah. the fact that they gave you an opportunity yeah. to live your dream yeah. means a lot. Huh? Means a lot. So you are parting short to these people. <sighs> Al Husnain, you have no idea what you've done. Like, this was a dream you know so many years ago and now now i'm reviewing cars that uh, i'm stepping into cars that i've never stepped into you know like um, <laughs> it's 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 a rare opportunity when you find someone who's really there to help you genuinely you know i'm not even looking for difficult complicated metaphors it's just this is just good heart you know like they are they they are, they, are, they they want to grow you as a person, and they are looking for nothing in return. I mean nothing. I don't pay these people to do this. You know, for other people, they'd be like, for one particular car, you're paying us 5,000. I don't have that particular budget. <laughs> and these people, they saw my dream, and they decided to support me from the word go. They didn't hesitate. Wabariki. Amen. Turudisha <laughs> Turudisha for you guys, you take for granted the site you have mm -hmm. because then you depend for uh, we, the, the site that you have, you depend on Solely everything. On the site. Yeah, mm -hmm. for us, because that has been taken away, then we master and adapt. So it's mastery and adaptation. So I take that and blend it with uh, the, 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 the now mobility I told you. Mm -hmm. So I can go to town by myself. I can cook by myself, I can do everything by myself. I iron in the morning, when I wake up, I, 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 move, I go to the stage, then my, my guide will take me on the other end when, when I reach uh, my destination. But I won't be there just waiting because I actually, I actually uh, worked on my patience also. Because when you're depending on people, <laughs> then you have to go with your schedule. Yeah? Mm. But then I was like, if then I have to wait for you, how about I find a way to just do it by myself? Then I don't need to wait on you to mm. finish your things mm. or put you at an, an inconvenience mm. to come help me, mm -hmm. you know? Now let me ask you, mm -hmm. of course, so are you in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Lean. Yeah. Hey, juicy, yeah? Juicy stuff, eh? Not juicy. Uh -huh. I'm just sitting here uh -huh. and I'm like, this man is super inspirational. Yeah. He's super motivational. Yeah. I mean, you've inspired me. Like jokes aside, you've inspired me, right? Thank you. But, then, but there must be a girl looking and <laughs> she's like, he's good for me. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> ladies. Mbura is single. Yeah. I'm single. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's my choice. Uh, mm. But um, I'm searching, yeah. Eh. Uh, if I get the right person, mm. because you see, for us, uh, let me give you blind tips for dating. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Bring them on. So for us, eh. we don't we, we are not fascinated by looks and appearance. Mm. For you, you be attracted to someone by how they look, yeah. how they've dressed, how hot they are. Mm. For us, it's more of an a connection, a genuine connection, like tapping into the in, in emo emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if I'm liking you and if I, I'm falling in love with you, it is with my inner vision. Because then I don't know your complexion. I can only hear your voice. So we mostly draw so much from voice. So, you, you know, like for me, I depend on voice for so much because people put their facial expressions on their faces. They forget this audio. Mm. So you can sleep easily mm. with a lie, with um, just trying to keep up with, with me because you, you, you just want to, give, like to be there mm. uh, by, by how you're talking, you know, your intonations, your, your tone of variation, your everything. Like, 
how you even respond that depends so we take um, voices we have a thing with voices blind people because then they are sweet voices they are those voices that will yeah. attract you but voices don't go with the reality yeah? the personality. <laughs> yeah the personality but when you're dating someone like uh, someone like me then you're in for um, the long run mm. and you you should be there not because you sympathize with this person or you want to like um, make that uh, you know like uh, I've never dated a blind person mm. you know, a reality yeah mm. <laughs> so it's more of a uh, it's not for the experiment. It's not for the experiment, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You got me. Got me. I, got, so, I got. I got. you. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. So uh, uh. the the reason why I've been single for the longest yeah. is because I'm looking for that one person who's uh, that lady who will wow me on all levels. People, people ask me, do, do you believe that you can you can still see? Or oh, some people even brush it off. Oh, you will see that. You will see again. Mm. If you saw the first time, you will you'll see, see it definitely. Mm. But I don't want to put my hopes in because I've been disappointed so many oh. times. But mm. if it comes back, it well comes. and good. But either way, we still push on. I know you're on social media mm -hmm. and I want to give a huge shout out to Flaco. <laughs> we yes. featured Flaco on our platform before. Yeah. He saw your story and he was like, Lynn, you have got to host this guy yeah. on Tuko yeah. so that Tuko people can be inspired. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So where can people find you on social media? Because yeah. I want my people <laughs> to storm there and be like, Tuko <laughs> centers here and yeah. see the amazing work uh, yes. you are putting out there. Yes. <laughs> So um, on Facebook, find me on uh, Julia Sumbura, mm -hmm. and then I have a I have two pages on Facebook. Yeah. I have Julio Supercharge, mm -hmm. Julia Supercharge, yes. <laughs> and uh, Julio Drops. Yeah, uh, that's where I put my creative bone. That's my creative space. Then on Instagram, you can find me at uh, Julia Sumbura, and then if you want to follow our page yeah. on Julio Supercharge mm -hmm. to follow more on the cars and everything, that's we have Julio Supercharge. Mm -hmm. Uh, specifically for cars and content creation around cars and how I do yes. touch and feel. Yeah. And then on uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. At Mbura 01. 01. Yeah, at okay. Mbura 01. Yeah, don't joke with my people. They will flock <laughs> And then, oh, we have yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have YouTube. We have YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> we have YouTube, uh, Julio Supercharge. Yeah. That's J-U-L-I-O, mm -hmm. then space, then Supercharge. Supercharge. Yeah. Okay. All right. Eh? Mm -hmm. I want to conclude. Eh? Mm -hmm. So now, to fungie, he shown a spoken word. Yeah. Inspire people. I inspire people. Yes. So I'll do a, a small piece. Yeah. Uh, it's called the New Blind. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a, a section of a bigger piece called Renegades. If you have time, maybe I can do that bigger piece. Mm -hmm. It's mostly to to give people a different angle of what they think about disability and uh, VIPs. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I, I, can, I can start. Yes, please. <clears throat> All means. Okay. You know what? Call us. Call us the new blind. Attitude is key plus power of the mind. Stick a little longer and you will find that we are a bit different than our own kind. Bump into you along the streets while on my grind. Hold my hand. I lead the way as you follow behind. No matter that I have inhibitions to fill all my pockets, I still keep a smile on my face and you cannot th take that away from me. I'm an apostrophe. I embody myself as a symbol to remind you that there is more to see. I define myself with simplicity. Maybe mad by complexity but in me a splash of diversity. Bringing to life the popular phrase of disability ain't inability. I'm stumbling in pursuit of grace. I hunt patience with a vengeance. But I'm now seeing life with another vision, through a different lens. I went giddy for a while. I wore a frown and a smile, but I won. When I won, I ran out of things that I could be angry about. 
You see me? A be visible, miracle, lyrical, even audible, depicted as the oracle. I have so much more to share with you. Mm -hmm. On dates, don't bother putting makeup on you. Because I'm more concerned with what makes you. Mm. Fresh like a kiss on morning dew, that's how I feel you. Mm -hmm. Had that love is blind, so I'm going to start writing my poems in prayer. Wow. <laughs> Strive for them to outlive me, to tell the fairy tale. More audio than visual, pray my ears don't fail. Yeah. Hey! Wow! <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Damn, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And I have so much more. Like, I've, I've given you, like, a piece, a yeah. frag... A, frag frag a fragment, fragment of, of what of what you have yeah, in store. I call it blind universe. Blind universe. Yeah. Well, people. Welcome to the blind universe. Welcome. Thank you. With br brilled out blueprints, the yes. impact it bears. Yeah, yeah. it bears. Mm.